Hey, welcome back to Snap Vault Games. My name is Max, and this is Lewin, and we got another popper league for you today. Hey, what's up? We are live on Twitch right now, twitch.tv slash Games. I've been going live on Twitch a lot more recently. I'm making all my content live on Twitch, so come hang out. Again, twitch.tv slash Games. There's a link in the description on YouTube for that. The YouTube channel is youtube.com slash snapbolt. So follow me on YouTube, follow me on Twitch. It's a lot of fun. Come hang out live, watch the videos on YouTube. It's just a lot of fun. And this is my dog, Lewin. He's going to help us with the intro here, and then we'll get him something special. Um, <laughs> um, so let, let me just get right into this deck tech now that we've shouted out the channel, and then we'll get into a league. So what is this deck? This is just a Serpentine Curve deck. I have uh, had some actually pretty good success with uh, blue with blue red curve. Um, here, one second, we got to pause. Okay, we had a slight car problem there, but I think we'll be I think we'll be okay. <laughs> um, okay, so this deck again. Let me get back into it. This is a serpentine curve deck. Um, I've had some success, like I was saying, with blue red curve, uh, but I wanted to try it with cleansing wildfire. And um, this just is it's so sweet. This is Rampant Growth Draw Card, which is just so much better than it seems. It gives you some color fixing. Again, and having a ramp spell in like these red decks has just been so fun. So I've really liked playing with this card. Um, so I wanted to try it out in this deck because you're playing all spells anyway. Um, so it seems like a natural fit. The one downside, it looks like he, he, you done? You done? Okay, we'll put you down. Good job. We'll get him a reward later for that. <laughs> um, but the one downside of playing Wildfire in this deck is that you have to play a lot of tap lands because you need a lot of indestructible lands. So I'm playing 10 tap lands right now, plus some plus some other like Ash Barons and one Evolving Wilds. So the deck, I think, is going to be a little bit more clunky, but at the same time, if you have like one basic plus a tap land, it's actually pretty good because then you're accelerating with Cleansing Wildfire. So you're still getting more mana. So even if you have to play like tap land on one, wildfire on two, then you untap on turn three and you go land, you can have three or four mana. So it actually seems pretty sweet. Plus the draw card is just really nice. Um, and I actually just changed the deck. When I was building it, I was like, okay, oh, hey, th thanks for subscribing, Bucklam. Thank you. Um, when I was building the deck, I like was like, okay, I need at least eight or nine bridges. So I was just going to play Miss Vault Bridge as a blue source, a tapped blue source that I could use for cleansing wildfire. And then I built the deck with flame slashes. And I was like, hmm, if I have like extra bridges, I might as well have a third color. Like I was like, I can splash Ancient Grudge in the sideboard or weather the storm. But then I was like, you know what? I can just play cast down instead of flame slash. It's such a better card. It can deal with Gurmag Angler. Um, and then we get access to Chain Resident, and I did like Duress out of the sideboard as well. Um, and hey, Cookie Monster, what's up? Glad to see you here. Um, so yeah, I felt like it's a pretty free splash. You just need the one basic to get with Cleansing Wildfire. You have like six extra black sources right here. The Duress in the sideboard seems good. Cast Down is just such a good card. I do like having access to a Chainer's Edict. It's also a nice synergy with pieces of the puzzle. And extra Edicts, because actually some people have been playing Boggles recently. So just Cast Downs and Chainer's Edicts instead of Flame Slashes, it's kind of free because you need, like when, when you're going Cleansing Wildfire, going three colors, I think is almost better than going two colors because you have to play extra bridges anyway. So having one extra basic for a splash is just totally reasonable. Um, the cantrip suite right now, four preordain, two ponder, two brainstorm, zero consider, zero thought scour. Um, we're just trying to go for more of a controlling type deck. Maybe we should have some like considers or thought scours, but these cantrips are just, you know, like quote unquote, the strongest ones in a vacuum. So just going to play with these, see how that goes. Um, this is also kind of another cantrip Four lightning bolt. Maybe we don't need four lightning bolt, but I think that's just a nice extra removal spell. One cannonade main two in the sideboard. I like having access to one main. And again, we're pieces of the puzzle, frantic inventory, kind of like draw card engine, which is just actually a really powerful engine. And again, 39 spells. So our pieces of the puzzle should almost always hit two. Uh, again, binning a frantic inventory, taking other spells on pieces is pretty nice. And then four curve, one fling, one dispel, kind of for the late game. 
So a little uh, sporadic in, in the deck tech here. So I apologize for that. I might actually have to pause again uh, and be right back um, right before we get into the league, at least live here on Twitch. Make sure my fiance is okay. Uh, far the sideboard, four Hydroblast, three Pyroblast, three Duress, a couple extra Edicts. I don't know if this extra cast down needs to be in there, but if we were against Aggro, we might want it. Um, and then, um, again, two more Cannonades for stuff like Elves and, and, and stuff like that. All right, and uh, without further ado, I'm going to pause on the YouTube video and we'll uh, rejoin right in round one. So I'll see you in round one. All right, we're back. Little uh, hiccup there to start, but we should be good to go. Round one, we're against Aieroma. I have no no idea how to pronounce that. We're going to keep this hand a little clunky, but we have our blue source with Evolving Wilds. And uh, looks like we're against Bridge, Black Red Bridge. Interesting. Okay, well, now I'm just going to play Blue Red Bridge. I can play Mountain on two, and then I can just Wildfire on two. Looks like it might just be Black Red Metalcraft. This should be an interesting matchup. Okay, well, the Cleansing Wildfire Mirror. Okay. Hey, Buck Guster, thank you for subscribing. Awesome. Love to see, love to see those subscribe. And again, you can always catch all my content on YouTube as well. YouTube.com slash Snapple. I think I'm actually just going to get another blue source so I can cast multiple cantrips. That seems good. We can get we can get the uh, black sources later. Nice. Just keeping up with the ramp. Just cleansing wildfire again. Ramping growth draw card is just so strong. Oh, Arvona, thanks thanks for gifting two subs. Awesome. This is this is sweet. Really cool. Really cool. Looks like we're up against Jund. And, ooh, Counterspell is tempting to leave up. We don't have instant speed cantrips, which is kind of rough, but we do have a frantic inventory. I'm just going to pass with Counterspell up. It's so likely that they're going to play, like, a pack mate or just something that we can just counter. And if we don't have to counter, just playing the first frantic inventory is not bad. Yeah, this is going to be a pack mate here. Uh oh, a Blightning? I mean, I don't really want to counterspell Blightning. I don't think we care about that. I can discard Frantic Inventory Land. I can discard Frantic Inventory Cantrip, I mean. Keep the land. I think I'm just going to let this resolve. I don't think I really care about this. I have so much card advantage. I can just, like, come back from a Blightning pretty easily. All right, let's go fetch Evolving Wilds, get another Island, and then play a Preordain. Leave up Counterspell again. Serpentine Curve and Cannonade. Cannonade Bottom Curve. I don't know if we need Curve yet, but I think it's fine to just take it. Like, they're going to have a lot of removal that kills Curve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank, again, thanks so much for, for gifting those subs. I do really appreciate any subs, any, any people just following on either platform. Again, just love to grow the community and, and hang out with more people. So, awesome. All right, this is going to be a boarding party from them. It's a Commodore. Okay, well, counterspell that. Glad I didn't counterspell the Blightning. And then I'll probably just ponder. We might be playing a Serpentine Curve, even though it'll just eat a removal spell. It might be worth it. Ooh, there's a draw two. I actually can start with Frantic Inventory draw two and then ponder. I kind of like that. There's a brainstorm. All right, let's ponder. I guess more cantrips is actually just fine. I could even. I kind of want these cast downs as well. I think they should be pretty good in the matchup. Like, I want all these cards. I guess I don't need Island. What I can do is I can just draw the preordain and maybe bottom both of these. All right, I like it. I could keep the Brainstorm. I'm not sure. It's definitely bottom the land. I think I can just bottom this since I have another one. And then I'll probably just Brainstorm end of turn. I'm not sure. Hey, Stompy, what's up? Trying out a new brew here. We're against Jund. Should be an interesting matchup. We drew all the cast downs, which is fine. Like, 
say boarding party, we can just kill it. It looks like a boarding party to me. Yep. Well, I guess we'll have to take six. Maybe playing the last cantrip was um, a little bit aggressive, but we can leave up removal and stuff in the future here. We're fine. I think that was a misplay for me actually playing the preordain. I should have just left up cast down expecting a boarding party, but it is what it is. Let's just brainstorm now. I can shuffle away one card. I kind of want to just lightning bolt this. I mean, I can get rid of a, one of the cast downs. That seems reasonable. They don't like give me like that much value. Okay, so let's just untap. It's preordained. Scry away one of the cast downs. Lightning bolt this. Let's just go bottom, bottom. There's an Ash Barrens. Let's just get another island. Shuffle the library. It's fine. Play island. Lightning bolt this right now. And then pass with some cast downs up, I think. And then we can start playing curves in the future. Definitely want to save one curve. In this matchup, you want to set up like a lethal curve where you like play curve and have fling up. That's ex definitely what we want to do. Uh, let's just get another island and lightning bolt this right now. And then play island. Okay. I could play a curve, but again, they're just going to cast down it. I think I'd rather wait. I hate how Serpentine Curve doesn't tell you how big it is. It should like tell you right here how many instant and sorceries are in your graveyard in exile. It's like it would stop you just from having to count all the time, which is pretty annoying. All right, there's Dino. They're getting good value out of these Cascades into Chainer's Edict. They missed that one. Okay, they can still cast it to put it in the graveyard, which they should have done, I think. All right, let's just kill this. Like I'm sure their hand is a ton of removal spells. Okay, nice. There's an Ancestral Recall. Sweet. Pieces of the puzzle. Let's go. I think this matchup should be good for us. We're just a blue deck with so much card advantage. Um, I think I'm definitely taking Pieces of the Puzzle. Do I want a Chainer's Edict or a Cleansing Wildfire? I think I'm fine just binning the Edict. Cleansing Wildfire draw card seems pretty good. I don't even have to I don't even have to wildfire this turn. I can just leave up cast down again. Sweet. Just pass the turn. It also looks like we have counter spell up. This deck seems pretty cool. Now we just need to find fling. We don't have thought scours or anything, so we can't really mill our fling. We can always take it off of pieces. Okay, that resolves. I feel like their hand is again just a bunch of removal spells. So gotta just play carefully with this deck. Yeah, it looks like they're out of threats. Awesome. All right, let's lead on Wildfire to thin our deck. Yes, I want to use the ability. I guess we get Swamp. There's Counterspell. Nice. So now let's just go pieces of the puzzle. There's the Fling. So we have to take that. I don't know if we need the Dispel even. We can just take another piece of the puzzle. I think we should have this pretty much locked up. I'm just going to have to do some counting here. Could take Dispel. Like, do we need another pieces at this point? I guess I have to count now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So we have enough to go for the fling win. I don't think we need another piece, so we'll just take fling plus dispel. Play tap land, pass the turn. If they don't do anything, end of turn, bolt them, and then just go for curve plus fling for the win. We can also counter something here. So I think we just uh, just got there. We're just like jending harder than them. We have the cleansing wildfires to ramp, and then we just have like this combo finish. And just like such a big threat. Okay, let's just lightning bolt them. Untap. Go curve.
and then just fling right now. Counter spell and dispel up. This should be good to go. Nice. Good showing in game one. And again, this should be a good matchup, so. All right, cards we can consider are honestly all of these. We, I was about to run like one or two Nihil Spell Bombs slash Relic of Progenitus, but I didn't put those in. Those would actually be decent in this matchup. Also, we may like just not want the Lightning Bolts, or at least all four of the Lightning Bolts. They're probably going to have some number of Pyroblasts, Hydro Blast kind of helps there. Again, I'm really liking this matchup. The rest can be good at like showing me what they have, if I can just play a curve or not, like without really protection. Cannonade definitely coming out. I don't think we want to over sideboard. I can take out some bolts. I think Chainer's Edict is actually good. Like, I'm even considering bringing in another one. I guess we could just do something like this. Because they still probably will have, like, Llanowar, Visionary, Packmate, and stuff that Bolt can kill. But I think Cast Down is probably just better. And just have a couple Hydro Blast. I think I'm going to just try minimally sideboarding here. Just keep all the card advantage. I mean, we almost drew our deck there in game one with, like, seemingly no effort. I think the one dispel is probably fine as well. All right, let's run it. I don't want to overload on Hydro Blast in this matchup and just like die to green cards, something like that. All right, this hand looks totally fine. They mulligan to five. Sweet. And full disclosure, this is my very first game, very first. The very first match with the deck. So, absolutely no experience with the deck yet. Ooh, we can brainstorm shuffle some curves away. Nice. I mean, having cards I already want to shuffle away and potentially just leave you up Hydro Blast. Um, I'm just going to pass the turn here. If they Cleansing Wildfire, I'm going to counter it with Hydro Blast. If they don't, I'm going to Brainstorm Shuffle. Nice. I don't really want to cycle this Ash Barons, actually, because I think Brainstorm Shuffle here is really important. Like, I don't need Curve yet. I, I thought about some Nightscape Familiar, but I just wanted everything in the deck to be a spell. And, like, playing more as a control deck, like, you don't really necessarily want to type tap out for Nightscape. So I'm not sure about that one, but it is interesting for sure. All right, one curve can go. I think I actually want an extra land. Maybe Lightning Bolt. Maybe I don't need Lightning Bolt, especially since I have the cast down now. I could just put back both curves because I'm not really playing a curve that soon. Actually, just going to do that. We'll curve later. It's kind of weird, but I'm sure we can find curve with all of our cantrips. Um, do I want, don't want Ash Barons. Do I want an extra island? Hitting land drops seems like it's good. I just don't think I need it. I can just naturally draw lands. Even if I'm bottoming lands, I'll probably still hit lands. Um, no, I'm not running teachings. I, I knew, I knew people would ask me about teachings, but, um, like what you're going to teachings for like counter spells, maybe one teachings would be worth it. I thought about running one. But it's still pretty clunky, so I decided against it. Okay, this is actually a cool a cool play here. Play Swamp, then that way we can tap these two lands, Wildfire here, and still have Counterspell up. I think I just get Island. Nice, pass the turn. And they were on a pretty big mulligan, so we should uh, should be good here. And again, we'll be able to see the list like between rounds and stuff, so hang on. I have to do like a lot of updating with like Twitch, like... 
make sure to be able to show my list. I need to, you know, update update the account. And I also do want to create a Discord for Twitch subscribers. I just, I just think that would be fun. So that's all in the works, all in the works. Um, gonna bottom the brainstorm, top the wildfire and just play wildfire. Just continue to ramp, draw cards. Maybe we naturally draw a land. If not, it's totally fine. Preordain. How greedy do I get? I don't think I preordain here. Just leave up counterspell and cast down. We can just preordain next turn. It's like we don't have to hit a land drop right here. It's not that big of a deal. Duress. All right, resolves. <laughs> they can look at these beautiful seven cards of this Grixis control deck. That would be funny if they just concede here. Like what? They can take counter. Oh, they take preordain. Wow, that's pretty aggressive. Like, I'm fine to just sit here with my counters and removal spells up and draw, draw another cantrip anyway. I mean, like, we're playing, like, similar style decks, except that I have um, cantrips. Just seems so strong. Hmm. I could draw Brainstorm, put two cards back, and then use the Wildfire to shuffle. I'm going to do that. So I can Brainstorm shuffle here this way. I actually do want to continue to hit more land drops. Put Ash Barons back plus Bolt. And then go Cleansing Wildfire. Use the ability. I think I'll get Mountain at this point. Nice. Piece of the puzzle. Great draw. And just pass with Cast Down or Counter Spell Up or Hydro Blast. <laughs> yeah, you, you can't Thought Seize the top of the deck, right? <laughs> Lightning Bolt us. Galvanic Blast us, resolves. I love just putting back those curves earlier. Okay, <laughs> they deal us eight damage end of turn. They're down to two cards in hand versus our six. Two cards, we have double counter spell, looking good. Um, let's just tap like this, play curve. Or not curve, pieces. Now at this point we take curve and edict. Because we already have two cast downs. And then we'll just pass. We can play curve next turn with a million counters up. So just plan on playing curve next turn and then protecting it with counters. This is like the other thing you do. Like sometimes you set up for the combo win, sometimes you set up for just curve plus a lot of protection. Um guess we just tap like this. Doesn't really matter. 13, 13, go, triple counter up. They only have two cards in hand. So even if their hand's like double Pyroblast or double removal spell, we just counter those. Um, I'm actually just going to Hydro Blast this. They know about counter spell, counter spell, Hydro Blast, so it's unlikely they can kill this no matter what they draw. Their best draw would be a Cascader, but then even then I can just let the creature resolve, counter the removal spell that they Cascade into. Yeah, just looking good. Hey, thanks for showing up. I know a lot of I know I get a lot of Brazilians watching because a lot of Brazilians play Popper, so cool cool to see for sure. Maybe we find Fling here, just win. Draw one. Okay. I tapped incorrectly, but uh, we still have one counter spell up. They have zero cards in hand, and I don't think it matters. Could have even just played another curve, but... Undefeated with the deck, huh? Yeah, this is not going to work. And then I can even just cast down the boarding party right now. Again, tapped a little sloppy, but I just don't think it mattered exactly. Like with zero cards in hand, I don't I don't think it mattered what um I did really. As long as I left up at least one counter spell. Okay, sweet. Undefeated in games with the deck. And uh see everyone on YouTube in round two. Alright, round two again sacrificed. We're on the play. Hand looks perfect. This hand looks so good. This is sweet. I've been really loving the, the Twitch streaming now, honestly.
curve is the only win con correct. But it's pretty easy as as you've seen to just draw like pretty much your entire deck. And then that's why you have the one dispel plus counter spells. And then you have a lot of mana and you just go play curve and then you have the fling. So you can just protect, um, oh wow, Swamp Duress. Oh, I think Sacrifice plays Monobot Control a lot, which should be another fantastic matchup for us. Um, so yeah, you can just set up like curve into fling on the same on the same turn. Oh yeah, they play black white. They play a lot of black white. I think they, yeah, I'm not sure. Either way, I think the matchup should be pretty reasonable here. Oh, they took Chainer's Edict. It's just over here. Okay, that's fine. Just gonna ramp here. Get another island. It would actually be interesting to play more black red bridges and then more islands, but I think I like the way the man base is built right now. Like, they have to take pieces, right? That's, like, such a good card advantage for us. I expect them to kind of play the black-white uh, bounce land here. If given the chance, would you ban Cleansing Wildfire? I actually thought they were going to ban um, the artifact tap lands. Are, like, I didn't think they... I actually thought they would not, but I kind of wanted them to because of that. I guess you could ban Cleansing Wildfire, but... I don't think it needs to be banned. It's not even like in the best decks right now. So no, I, I would I would not ban it. They did take pieces. I think I'm gonna go preordain. I guess I can frantic inventory first. It's kind of weird, but I'm gonna go frantic inventory. Hmm. No, it's just preordain. I can frantic inventory like end of turn. Bottom, top. Cleansing wildfire here. Yes. I think I just get another island, draw another frantic inventory. Nice. The cleansing wildfires seem really good. How's the matchup against UB Fey? Well, since this is my second match with the deck, and we just played against Jund, I'm not sure yet, but maybe we'll find out. We have a lot of removal, um, so you know we can do something. Mm, these cards seem fine. Pass the turn, just plan on end of turning, like double inventorying probably. Yeah, I could see a spell splitter sprite ban. I think that would actually be a good ban. I thought it should have been banned probably a while ago, but we know how they are with the bans in Popper. They're slow. So double the rest. Just not good against our particular hand because we didn't have anything that like actually mattered in our hand. Like we just had like a bunch of our like draw spells and cantrips and stuff. Draw two. There's the curb. Okay. Don't want to have to play that yet. Let's ponder, and we could shuffle after ponder if we want. Yeah. Let's draw pieces and then shuffle our library with Ash Barons and then cast pieces. This is a nice, nice play here. I guess I'll get Mountain since I have so many bolts. Play pieces. Oops, I tapped wrong. I thought this was the blue land. Damn. Looks like it's not going to matter. Let's take fling and cast down pass the turn and then hope we don't get to rest right now because uh, i don't want to take this fling that's really huge obviously would love to have drawn fling later but there's nothing we can do no duress please ah, damn okay well we're gonna have to win the hard way here which makes it a lot harder since we only have one fling oh they take curve wow that's so good for me that they didn't take fling that is so good for me i'll just take one and then i can just bolt end of turn if i want sure could have just bolted i guess they're stuck on three lands i can't believe they took curve i guess they just don't have an answer right now for it but now i can still have the fling that's huge bottom bottom land go all right now we're just waiting to draw an ancestral recall I'm not on Teamer Battle Rage. No, just the one fling. I don't think you need that many ways to do it. You can just plan on protecting it. Ooh, wow. They're going to just bounce a land. I can just Lightning Bolt this. This is a no-value core Skyfisher. I do not like the creature version of Black-White Pestilence. Another Lightning Bolt. Just play Bridge. Just get more lands into play. 
We can chain a bunch of cantrips. Yeah, Snuff Out would be a good band too. Nice, there's Cantrip. Snuff Out or and or Spell Stutter Sprite, for sure, are both good bands. I think I'll tap like this. Dispel and Pass Down, I suppose. Not the best cards to hit off the pieces, but reasonable. Especially since they're on the creature version. I mean, if they play a Guardian right now, it is pretty annoying. Another interesting thing is um, our, our our snakes are two colors, so Guardian can't like just chump, can't just like brick wall the snakes. Now the reason Snuff Out is so good is because it literally causes zero mana, so you can just like play an Augur and then snuff out their thing and then attack with Augur, then Ninja, and still have Dispel up or something. Like, zero mana is just so important. All right, well, can shuffle away two removal spells. I can shuffle away the fling to protect it, but I, I just want to have access to it, I think. I think I'll just shuffle away double cast down here. I'll just search now. No more basics, okay. Good to keep that in mind. So if we cleansing wildfire, we may want to cleansing wildfire them. Especially if they play a bounce land. We also have counter spells for like a duress or something. I just think I might want to keep counter spells for stuff that matters more than spare supplies. I'll just let that resolve. I don't want to fight over that. That's like kind of like their cantrip. Like, yes, it's a divination, but I think I'd rather fight over the stuff that matters more. If they duress, I'm countering that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Okay, so we just need to find curve. I wonder if I should bolt them here. I have plenty of mana, so I can just bolt them if I draw curve. We have three curves left. There we go. So I think that they're dead. Um, let me double check here. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. There they'd be at twenty. This would be a twenty-one. And then I fling them with multiple counters back up. I think I have it. If I miscounted twice, then so be it. I don't want to count again. I mean, not exactly lucky. We have 18 cards and three curves left in the deck. Pretty uh pretty safe here, actually. Obviously, it was a good draw, but yeah. The one thing I hate about this deck is counting. Like, if Serpentine Curve had a counter on it, it would be so nice. Okay, they should have definitely taken Fling with that Duress. That would have made it, I guess, a reasonable amount harder to win. We could have just still played Curve with Double Counter up, but still. Oh, man. I, I punted with the sideboard build. We have no artifact destruction in the sideboard we should definitely have like at least in a braid <laughs> new brew that'll happen all right i actually don't hate chainer's edicts because i want answers to guardian of the guild pack They also are the creature version, so I don't want to, like, side out all my removal. Maybe I just want Chainer's Edict. They took Chainer's Edict really fast. Oh, yeah, I like I do like the... I, I used to have one shenanigans um, in the blue-red version without Cleansing Wildfire, so I, I, could, I could definitely run that. Cast Down seems like it's going to be dead a lot of times in this matchup. Or at least, like, just worse than Bolt and Chainer's Edict. <laughs> Live and Riot, you just hate uh, Kabira Crossroads. I think you talked about that last last stream. <laughs> um, do I want to leave, like, one more removal spell in over anything else? Like, Chainer's Edict's not that good specifically against... Raven Inspector, but I still have Double Bolt, Cast Down, Triple Chainer's Edict, so I can't always just Chainer's Edict, Chainer's Edict. Um, 
Um, I like, I definitely like the duresses. I like the dispel. I could cut like one cantrip. I could cut a ponder, play one more lightning bolt. I kind of like that. Because they still do have core skyfisher and stuff. And I can always just bolt face. This looks good. I really like tri triple duress, like out of the sideboard with this deck. Like, it seems like it makes this type of matchup so much better. All right, hand looks great. Let's just find a cleansing wildfire. This hand is also really nice because when you have hands like this, you don't really care about duresses from them. So I like it. And we're not in a rush to play this duress either. We can play it later to, to protect our curve. Like they're gonna have, um, they're definitely gonna have just like a bunch of removal spells still in the deck for, for the snakes. They have to. All right, let's see. Oh, there's Cleansing Wildfire. I kind of want to wait on the Cleansing Wildfire. There's not a huge rush. And I want to leave up Lightning Bolt in case they like want to core sky for Fisher this back. I can kill this in response. Could have played the bridge on one to be able to just have Bolt up and then play the second bridge right now, but I did not do that. So I think I'm going to go Preordain, Mountain Go. It's a weird line, but I like it. Bottom this Bolt, bottom this land play Mountain Pass. Again, I'm playing around Core Skyfisher, because if they just jam Core Skyfisher, bounce this, I, they have to bounce a land if they cast Core Skyfisher right now, so. Another Thraven. Okay. I can just bolt this Thraven now. And then we can always just Cleansing Wildfire, like, on our next turn, plus tap land. Doesn't really matter, like, when we do this. Yes, more mana early is better, but... Let's just do this plus play tap land. I was like, they had some response to this? I was like, what, what can they have? I guess they can have dust to dust as well, but we can certainly beat a dust to dust. Um, let's just get island. Play a blue bridge. I guess I'll get another black source. Probably want to fire off this piece of the puzzle next turn. This card is really sweet in this matchup. And there's Basilica. Okay, we can always Cleansing Wildfire that if we draw another one. But it might be better just to keep Cleansing Wildfire ourselves. Okay, nice. Glad I played another Black Source, actually. Might want to double duress here. I think I'll lead on Wonder S, see what they have. Oh, they have strands. Circle of Protection Red, wow. That's that's some that's some serious hate. We don't have like the Giga Drows and the like a lot of stuff that I should have had in this the curve sideboard. I just didn't spend enough time on the sideboard. Um, we'll have to work on that at the end of this video. I think I just take Circle of Protection Red. This just like, if they played this, that like, can we even beat it? I don't know. I don't know if we can beat Pro Red. We can beat Strands. I can take Circle of Pro Red, and then I could take either Pestilence or Strands. Like if I take the Strands and then they just don't have a white creature in play, then I can just kill them as well. Let's just take the cop red, play land, play pieces. Okay, this is a great hit. Because I can just take curve, take frantic inventory. Yeah, looks good. Take curve, take frantic inventory. And then, do I just arrest them again right now? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I just arrest them, take strands. Could arrest them, take edict. 
think I'm just gonna it's really close I am gonna duress right now these cards are annoying to deal with I could just take pestilence and try to fight through both strands and edict because if they just top deck like a guardian of the guild pack it's so annoying for them to have the pestilence but I think I want to take one of these other cards I'll just take an edict whatever not sure about that there Oh, this is their hand. They only have one more land. Well, I'm glad I took the Edict then. Now I can just freely play Curve, and uh, they don't have an answer to it right now. Or for a while. So I have five, six mana next turn. Lone Missionary, sure. They played Swamp. Back for one. So we know these two cards plus another card that they drew. Sure. I think I want to go Brainstorm, most likely into Curve. Okay. Well, let's definitely shuffle away two lands here. I guess I can get Swamp at this point. Then I think I just play Curve. I think it's like safe enough at this point. Might as well. We can always draw more curves in the future. Just play a 10-10. Go ahead. And there's Guardian. Okay, but again, they have the Guardian Pestilence combo now. But I can always find a Counterspell. Ooh, I can also just blow up the Basilica. This Again, this is blue and green. Let's start with Frantic Inventory, draw two. Cast down pieces of the puzzle. I kind of want to pieces to look for Counterspell. Let's attack for 10. They're going to probably just chump. That's my guess. Yeah, they just chump there. And I don't really want them to be able to resolve the, the Pestilence, but if they do, they do. It's still beatable. Let's go pieces, look for Counterspell. We didn't find it, but we found Duress, so that's good enough. Hey, thanks for following. Cool. Um, and then I think I want a Chainer's Edict to hand. Duress, and then Chainer's Edict to hand, and then Duress your Pestilence away. They have another Guardian. Okay, Pestilence, you're gone. And pass the turn. Looking great. One, two, three, four, five. They're still two mana off, flashing back an edict. You draw a card. Yeah, Curve laughs at these guardians. There's not that much multicolor stuff in Popper, but this is multicolor, which is pretty cool. At least Sacrifice knows that they can't uh, block like that. Okay, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. I think I start with. Actually, Cleansing Wildfire, draw a card. Preordain. I think I'll just preordain right now. Yeah, these seem good. I can just keep ramping and doing stuff. Top, top. I think I'll just attack. If they want to chump, then I can just Edict away the Guardian, which is nice. And if they want to take 10, they can take 10. Okay, nice. Yeah, now I just have a nice Chainer's Edict on this. Stop myself from taking damage here. Oh, oh, they're gonna strands. I see, I see. I wonder if I wanna go cast down plus Edict this turn. It's interesting that they're going strands right now. They have another Guardian in hand. I guess doing this first would've been good, but I got them to use one copy of strands, which I think is a win in in my book. Just kill that. And then I'm going to Edict main two. Get this out of there. And then they can play another Guardian. I can Edict that one. Edict you. And then play a Preordain. Draw the Cleansing Wildfire, I think. Could also just not play the Preordain this turn. Play it next turn. I actually like that. 
it's actually um, a pretty good trick. It's like if you know the top card is good and you feel like you can wait on... Oh, they, they can Edict now? All right. This stops our frantic inventories, but not our curves. Yeah, if you know you can wait on the Preordain, it's often better because we did want to draw that Preordain, so it would be kind of like a wasted scry. So I think this is actually pretty good. So they spell bomb us. Again, that only stopped our frantic inventories, which, sure, that's good, but we can draw cards a lot of other ways with cantrips and pieces of the puzzle, and we still have a 10-10 and threatening another huge snake. Guardian. Yep. Oh, it, oh that also got our, our Chainer's Edict, duh. But we have, we have a bunch more Chainer's Edicts in the deck, so not too worried about a 2-3 pro multicolored against this. So they have a Strands in the yard. It's Wildfire right now, so we can shuffle, then Preordain. It's our last basic. Might even want to try to find like one more basic and maybe take out the fetch land because you do need a lot of basics in this deck. All right, let's preordain. Bottom, top, attack, and then I can play tap land, curve, leave up counter spell, and that should be pretty good. They take ten. Tap land, leave up double blue, play a big curve, and then have counter spell up. Now they have to chump the 21. Looking good. And we're kind of protected from Edict by being able to sack this one. Yeah, this is like the saddest Guardians. Flashback Edict. I think I just counter this. Because then they have to chump. Like, protecting a snake is worth the counter spell, I think. And this should just be a good matchup. They still do have the strands, but they just concede, yeah. Nice. GG's. Bad matchup for them. And have not lost a game with Grixis Curve yet. Let's go. See you in round three. Alright, round three against Ticklebush. Really a nice opponent. Always fun to play against them. We're on the play. Hmm... Yes, we have a Preordain. We don't have a red source for this, and we don't have an Indestructible Land at all. Yeah, I got back just in time. I think I just mulligan. Hmm. This hand's not the best either, but I'm going to keep it. Pretty clunky hand here. Hehehe. <laughs> Stop me asking where the beer is. I mean, since it's 10.30 a.m. on a Saturday, I have coffee instead right now. I'm usually streaming at night. Or making content at night, but not right now. Okay, let's bridge, and then we'll plan to cycle Ashburns for Island. It looks like we're Affinity at this point. It looks like they're on Blue-Red Bay, so this should be a good test. Ninja? Okay. Well, we will get to kill that with immunity, kind of. After they already draw a card. I'm really interested in this matchup, though. Just kill it now before they can mess with us. <laughs> I do like drinking a beer, but personally not in the morning, generally. And uh, maybe like as we're waiting for the next round to start, we'll work on the sideboard of this deck, because the sideboard definitely needs some work. I mean, Curve, I think, has always been playable. People just don't seem to play it that much. Like, after Innistrad came out, I played one league with Curve. I didn't record it, and I just 5-0'd. Nice. Land is interesting. I think I like just cast down this fairy right now, pass with Counterspell up. I like that. I don't want to get ninja again. Don't want them to untap and be able to protect their creature. And now I just have a Counterspell up, which is nice. And I'm fine to counter most things. And if, they, if I don't, I can just play an end of turn inventory. Inventory plus Counterspell is really nice. 
I'm just going to counter this. I just want to keep them off board, basically. And I don't want them to be able to spell Thutter or Sprite like my bigger spells, which is also a reason for killing fairies. Okay. They fight over the fairies here. Maybe they have another ninja in hand that they're trying to set up. Probably just going to play pieces, leave up Silver Bluff Bridge. Ooh, that is tempting now. I'm actually just going to double double inventory main phase and resolve both of these. Maybe draw a land. Also going to brainstorm right now to play around Spell Thutter Sprite. Oh, I already, I, oh, I already played the land. Uh, okay, okay. Still like this. We're drawing the lands. I should have been more careful about which order I put back because I want to draw the island. Hopefully we're drawing island. And hopefully we can resolve this piece of the puzzle. If they have a, another counter spell, it's pretty bad for us now. Because then we, we're drawing another land next turn. They probably have counter spell. Just don't have it. Good art choice by Ticklebush here. Nice. Hmm. I like want to take Wild Bear, but I think we have to take Cast Down Counterspell and then Cast Down this right now. Like if they didn't counter this, they're not going to counter this, right? They probably have spells that are sprayed up. They do have it. Wow, they chose to let pieces of the puzzle resolve. That's kind of surprising. Like, now we get to go curve with counter up next turn? Like, if curve resolves, this deck might not have a good answer to it. And it's, I think it's likely to resolve. They played two counter spells already. That's the only thing they can have to stop this. Yeah, definitely take cast down counter. It was tempting to take Wildfire, but I think taking Cast Down Counter is definitely the right play when they had this. And I didn't think they had Counterspell because they chose to let pieces of the puzzle resolve. That's like a three mana draw two good spells. I mean, I feel like they've had Spell Stutter Sprite this whole game. So if I do this, they're just going to Spell Stutter Counter it, which I don't love. But I guess then my Counterspell might resolve. I'll just, I'll just let them Spell Stutter this. I think it's worth, oh wow. I think I'm gonna top top, play land, play curve, try to resolve it. Really interesting. Yeah, I cannot believe they let pieces resolve. That doesn't make sense to me. Like, now they need double counterspell to stop this. Like, their screds aren't going to kill this. They have counterspell, perhaps. Okay, they need double. I guess they can have spell that are sprite still. Ah, that's bad. Now they spell that are this. I could have waited on the curve. I could have played Edict this turn, but I didn't. Maybe that would have been a better line. I thought about it, but I was like, they need literally another counterspell. And they had it. I didn't think they would have it. Three counter spells in the top 22. That'll that'll happen. I think we lose now because we're drawing Cleansing Wildfire. And they have a ninja going. So I think we got kind of just crushed here. If we are able to draw and resolve a cannonade, then maybe we can win. They have another ninja. Okay, now it's over. Ticklebush, I think, actually ended up playing super, super well. The reason that they didn't counter pieces is because their hand was so good that they were like, if I just counter things that actually matter, that like affect the game, affect the board, then I'm much better off because I'm so far ahead on board. Like, sure, I'll let him draw cards. And then um, it just seems so much like actually a solid play from them. So uh, that was brutal. Red source short here. All right, let's just pack it in. Let's go next game. The fact that they had the extra counter spell made it look like we got crushed, but again, I thought we could resolve this curve. They had already played two counters. 
and uh, they had to have Counterspell plus Spell Setter, which they ended up having. Okay. Wow, we just have like infinite sideboard cards here. I don't even know. I guess like two Hydro Blast is good. It can counter Pyro Blast, but they might not have many other red spells. <laughs> Chainer's Edict's not even that bad. I guess it's not that great. Hey, thanks for following. Awesome. I think I like all three Cannonades actually. I don't even know if we need Fling. I also don't think we need Cast Down. I think the other removal spells are better. Chainer's Edict is slow, but it's actually pretty good because it's like a two for one against that deck as the game goes along. I think I'm definitely going to side out some number of cantrips because of Spell Thutter Sprite. Spell Thutter Sprite is good against those. Do I side out one curve? Curve is actually where we want to be. If we resolve curve, they shouldn't have... Now that now they do have answers post board because they have Pyroblast. Maybe this is going to be rough here. <laughs> And like, I, I just don't know what else to cut. This is so many, so much interaction. Pieces, I guess, a little bit clunky. I think we need the fling. And then take out a bolt, because we have three cannonades. Let's look at the, how this deck looks. I'm not saying that this is how we're going to sideboard. Yeah, I couldn't side out more bolts, but I want cheap interaction to stop from getting ninja'd, because that's huge. I know we have Pyroblast, but I think I want I think this sideboard plan looks reasonable. Three bolts, two edicts, three cannonades. Three cannonades a lot. I could side out like another bolt, side in another hydroblast, but I think hydroblast could get stuck in our hand. I could see situations where that happens. All right, let's try this. We have triple cannonade. We have a lot of removal still. We have the duresses to take their counter spells. Let's go. Our hands have been also worst this match against blue red Fey, which sucks. Um, just like our hands have been pretty awkward here, but let's keep put back a tap land lead on bridge. I don't need to like inventory on two. I'm just going to play another bridge on two. Leave up Pyroblast. Maybe playing the blue bridge would have been better there. Because I could, if I drew Cleansing Wildfire, I could have cast it. Wow, Evolving Wilds, Cycle Ashburns right now, and then Cantrip? Or if they Fairy Seer, I'm going to counter it. Yeah. Actually ended up working out. Another bridge. Okay, let's play that and pass. I'll just frantic inventory end of turn, and if they want to counter it, then that's fine. Is it Canadian Thanksgiving? I had no clue. Well, happy Thanksgiving, eh? <laughs> Ticklebush usually playing like kind of like pretty sweet brews, but it looks like they're just on, you know, one of the best decks in the format right now. They always play like really strong decks. Nice, another Pyro, love it. Just passed with Counterspell and Pyroblast up here. I like also the build of this deck with, uh, with only um, the indestructible artifact lands. And none of the regular ones. At first, I actually built the deck with Galvanic Blast and Seed of the Cyanod, but I was like, it's still gonna be hard to metalcraft because I can't play a, like a bunch of great furnaces or anything. So I really like the splash black so far. Seems like it's gonna work out pretty well. Brainstorm Shuffle, it's pretty strong. I'm just gonna continue to wait on our brainstorm here. They got a mountain. Okay. If they just tap out for Monarch here, that's super greedy. 
Augur of Bolas. Let's counterspell this. And if they counter back, I'll Pyroblast. Definitely want to fight over Augur. Another counter. All right, let's just continue to wait on the Brainstorm. Could have held the land as well to brainstorm shuffle away the land, but we can hold future lands. Counter this. Okay, four cards in hand, two for us. Preordain. Slamming preordain. Duress and counterspell. I feel like I like both of these. Top, top, play Duress right now. If they try to Spell Thutter, I'll just Pyroblast. Taking their Counterspells and or Cantrips seems really strong. Echoing Truth. Okay, well, I'm still going to just take Counterspell. Oh, now they can Resolve Commodore? Wow, so I got wrecked because I used my Counterspells and not my Pyroblast. Okay, well, we're fucked. <laughs> Got outplayed by Ticklebush this match for sure. I just, I was thinking about Commodore and then I wasn't thinking about using the Pyroblast. I was thinking about using my blue mana. Okay. I think we're just 100% dead now. They played well, I played poorly, so yep, that'll happen. We have to brainstorm now, I think. Cannonade does not kill this. I can keep playing, but it's it's looking bad. <laughs> I have to like draw these cards for the next two turns and they're just sitting there with the Monarch. It is rough. I actually probably should have held the Pyroblast over the Counterspell or the Cannonade, but I didn't. I really needed, I really needed to um, just use Pyroblast on one of those augers and then save Counterspell specifically for Commodore, and I got super punished. Actually, just needing to let this resolve. I can't like fight over this. I need to just cannonade away their board. I. I don't think I can beat Monarch though in this game, especially because my next two draws I know are not good. So it looks like the first loss with the deck coming up. We're drawing land next turn. But don't hate losing to this deck. This matchup definitely seems winnable, but um, yeah, pretty rough here. Let's just let them draw and then hopefully they replay Fairies here and try to get a two for one even though they just drew a card. If they just pass, it's so bad. <laughs> Ticklebush playing really well, honestly, this match, so outplaying me, like I said. Gonna have to just go for Cannonade, but yeah, looking rough. They have eight cards in hand. There's just, there's no way we're dead. They can just let this resolve. They don't even want to. Or they can just win this fight also. If we top deck Frantic Inventory into Frantic Inventory, maybe. They still have six cards to our zero. Yep. They probably have another spell setter and or counter also, so. If I don't draw something, I'm conceding. Just get on with the day. GG's, GG's. Honestly, this was a good match. It was closer than it seemed, I think. Um, especially game one when we went for it. It's like, I thought it was going to work. Otherwise, I could have taken the other line of Chainer's Edict and then go for it next turn. Um, but it looked like we got crushed. Um, but it, I think game one was closer than, than it looked. All right. Two and one, got crushed there. It's okay, brand new brew. We need to work on the sideboard a bit. Um, 
don't hate losing there. He definitely outplayed us, so is what it is. And let's go round four, try to 4-1 this league still. All right, we're still waiting for round four to start, but let's work on the sideboard. So I think we want a shenanigans in the sideboard. That seems like it's really good with pieces because you can just pieces, not take the shenanigans, and then dredge it when you want it. Um, having an abrade at least, also one abrade in the main deck might not be bad. Like we could have an abrade over like a lightning bolt even, or a cut a cantrip. All right, looks like we just got paired. So we'll continue to work on this if we have time. Um, it looks like we just got paired right now. Waiting for the opponent to join here. Yeah, I'm gonna gonna remain silent. Oh, tickle bush, what's up? Oh, nice. Yeah, you. Uh, I I I was I was saying to chat tickle bush that you played really really well that match when you didn't counterspell the pieces of the puzzle. I was like pretty certain you had spell stutter sprite, but not counterspell. And then you had two more counterspells, and that was uh, pretty brutal. So this when this comes out on YouTube, you can rewatch it um, and see like the options I had. I got you, you crushed me in game two. I kind of misplayed also by not leaming up. I used my counter spells over Pyroblast on the Augurs, and then you were able to resolve the red spell, the Monarch, the Shrek. So um, you played really, really well. I could have played better. You definitely deserve to win that one. That was fun. GG's. Okay, round four now. We're on the play, let's keep. And blue red fay, definitely a, a strong deck choice. Bridge go. I'm really liking this deck though. I like how you have a rampant growth in a blue red curve shell. Ooh, we're against Stompy. This should be a good matchup for us. Let's leave up counterspell on two. Yeah, totally. The chatter meta was trash. It's it's a bit better now. Again, I wish there was a couple more changes, but it is definitely a bit better at this point. Probably just playing Evolving Wilds next turn. Burning Tree. I think I just counter this. I just want to slow them down. And then we can just ponder freely next turn. All right, let's ponder... I think we just want to ponder shuffle. I don't think these do anything. Okay, cannonade is a fantastic draw. If I had known we were finding the one-up cannonade, I wouldn't have countered this, but hopefully they just play a couple more creatures out here, and then we just get the cannonade plus tap land next turn. Creature? Nice. Another creature? No rancor. I like to see that. Nest Invader? Do it. Nice. And there's a curve to follow it up. It's a small curve right now, but small curve might just be what we need. I'm just going to do this now so I don't get blown out by any like vines or anything. I have not played any Mogwarts. That's another one to revisit. Just been brewing a lot, honestly. So I can just play a 4-4. Honestly, it seems worth to me. I'm going to do it. Go. <laughs> smallest curve I've uh smallest curve I've played in a while. I've played like 4/4s four and 5/5s five against Burn, but this is kind of similar because if they just play like they can see 4/4 four, four too much. <laughs> Four four too much. Pieces into one, two, three, four, five, six. We probably would have taken pieces both. Maybe pieces, pieces. Okay, sweet. Let's go cannonades, cast downs, edicts. Can side out like some of the slower stuff. I think we want basically just removal spells and frantic inventories. Dispel can come out. 
we just basically want, yeah, I think all the frantic inventories, all the removal spells, just play removal spells, play um, draw spells. Seems like a good plan. So let's look at the curve and then look at the curve and then decide what to do. Triple cast down or tri quad cast down, quad bolt, triple trainer's edict, triple cannonade. This has to be a good matchup, like 100%. I don't even think we need fling. I just don't think that's what matters. I think killing all their creatures and then just playing a big snake is what matters. Like, yeah, they have a lot of chump blockers, so maybe we want this, but yeah, I don't think we need that. I know they have Young Wolf and tokens, but you actually need this because Ledge Walker, the two mana one one hexproof, um, can crush you. And Chainer's Edict in conjunction with Cannonade is actually pretty good. Um, so I know that th this looks awkward, but you don't want to just die to Ledgewalker if they're able to resolve that. So you do want Chainer's Edict in this matchup. It sounds weird, and I know it, they have some good cards against it, but you do want Chainer's Edict. I'm pretty certain of that. You can just side out a Brainstorm. I want Cleansing Wildfires. Um... This looks good. Yeah, seven cantrips, infinite removal spells, four counter, four inventory, three pieces, three curve. Again, if if we just start playing removal spells and then start playing frantic inventories, like we don't even need to curve. Like they're probably just gonna concede when they have zero cards in hand to our five and they have no board. Yeah, removal tribal here, exactly. Zero land, mulligan. This hand's not good, but it's a keep. Um, can just put back Evolving Wilds. We could lose with this hand, certainly, but we have Rampant Growth Draw card. That's really strong. Counterspell, great draw. They had no one drop, wow. So they might play a Ledge Walker here or Burning Tree into Ledge Walker. So looking for um, Cannonade at this point. A oh, river boa. Okay. River boa is definitely a problem. Also, we have edicts for this too. The problem is also, I didn't play a black bridge, so I can't cast down this right now, but I can always just cannonade later. I think I'm just going to ignore the island walk and just go wildfire then i get a bunch of mana into play i guess i might want the swamp because i have a cast down in hand i know i have two black sources but this way i could cast down next turn potentially yeah let's do it another cleansing wildfire actually a good draw yeah ask and you shall receive i love to say that like, they're not putting that much pressure, so we have time, especially since we can cast this, like, whenever. Like, they're going to need to regenerate. I think I like going black-red bridge past the turn on their upkeep cannonade. Then they have to tap one mana on their turn. Both of these die. Yeah. Seems good. That just buys us a ton of time. Again, I think this matchup should be really good for us. I could take damage, go cannonade end step, and then untap and cast down this. But I think cannonading on upkeep is fine. Like I think we can beat Riverboa. Like all we need to do is find a Chainer's Edict. So actually, I'm just gonna take damage. Because then they can't play any more creatures into cannonade as well. So I'm just gonna take damage here. They only have three cards left in hand. Yeah, this way they can't commit anything else to the board. They have a Vines here, it's annoying, but it looks like they're just regenerating. Okay, so now let's go Cleansing Wildfire, leave up Counterspell, play a Tap Land, try to find Chainer's Edict. Um, I guess I just get another Island. I have plenty of red sources. Curve. Curve's actually not bad. It's just like kind of small at this point. Probably should have played the blue-black bridge there. 
This game is not over. Honestly, I seriously thought about running like two snuff outs because we could wildfire for the swamp, but I, I restrained myself. <laughs> Ashburns. Do I want to play a 4 4? I think honestly that I do. Wait, I probably want to leave up. Oh, uh, I shouldn't have. Oh, let's see. I can't leave up Counterspell and Cast Down, really. I don't need to leave up Cast Down, I guess. Just play a 4-4. Four, four. Pass. Hunger of the Halipack, plus one, plus one. I'm at nine. I can always cast down to buy a turn. I'm going to let this resolve. Just go to six here. Rancor. So now it's a two-turn two clock. Now, I think I just counterspell the Rancor so it doesn't come back. I have three cards in hand. I can always Fog with a Cast Down next turn. Again, just looking for Chainer's Edict. If we find it, we win. If we don't, we probably lose. Bridge. Brutal. Could have shuffled on Upkeep. Do I go for cast down? No, I can take one more hit. I can cast down next turn because saving the cast down if we draw or find the Chainer's Edict is where we want to be. All right, now we just do this. They regenerate. Rancor should still resolve, but it's tapped, okay. Chainers. Oh, I should have shuffled. I meant to shuffle. A little loose there. So we're probably dead to like anything they have. We didn't find any of our draw spells or the or the chainers edicts. I think I played this game a little loose as well. Oh, not dead. Okay. I'll shuffle this time. gut shot us sure they have gut shot in their deck i guess they just have other things they don't want that's pretty funny okay i seriously think this matchup is, is good for us and i think i like where we're at too do we want another pieces i don't think so let's just run it back I played this matchup a lot with blue red curve and I think I've lost it like once. So I, I am pretty confident. All right, let's keep. Now I'm playing the blue red bridge on one, probably wildfire on two, maybe leaving up bolt. We'll see. Could play another tap land plus leave up bolt on two. And also just kill this right now. That might be the safe line, honestly. Like, what's the chance that they go for Rancor? I think it's low, but I think I'm actually just gonna leave up bolt. Try to get a little bit greedy here. I can take it, I can take one. They play forest, they attack for one. Korean Ranger, sure. I want to try to find Cannonade, actually. I think I can just continue to wait on the removal spell. I'm just going to... I know I can Ponder Shuffle, but I think I'm just going to Shuffle now to be mana efficient. All right, let's go Ponder. Oh, Chainer's Edict Cast Down. Great draws. 
Definitely not shuffling these away. And then I can start playing removal spells. And then just play bridge pass. And then probably just plan to take damage again. Draw that card and I can shuffle away the land with Cleansing Wildfire. Okay, this looks good. This looks good. So I'm going to draw the Chainer's Edict next turn, then play a Cleansing Wildfire. So I'll probably go for an end of turn Lightning Bolt. I'm fine if they like play some uh, Hunger of the Halifax or something. I can easily deal with that. Don't care about taking two. Pit Skulk. Okay. Looks like they're leaving up like Vines and or Hunger here. So... Could they have mutagenic? I think I just play around that by bolting something else. Let's bolt this. Okay, it's down. Draw the Chainer's Edict. So let's go Island. Cleansing Wildfire. Shuffle away that land that's on top. I'll get another, I'll get the Swamp here. There's a curve, nice. All right, let's just pass the turn. Planning to take three again and then end of turn cast down. It's nice to just leave up mana like this so they can't just like like tap out for Elephant Guide or Rancor or anything. And it's like, it's okay to take some damage. So I do like playing the matchup this way. It's kind of like how you can play against Infect a lot of times. Like if you make them go for it, you blow them out. If not, you can kind of crush them because they can't commit everything to the board. Um, I can just go for cast down right now at this point because they'll get to replay another forest. Okay, just resolving stuff, nice. I get to play a big snake here. And if I ever like find a cannonade, they just get crushed also. Okay, that is pretty good. So let's go Chainer's Edict U. And then play a snake, which is like a 6-6 six, six or a 7-7. Seven, seven. May or may not be enough. But if we just draw more removal spells, I think it likely is enough. 6-6 six, six, snake. 3 turn clock. So they elephant guide this. 4 mana. What is this? Oh, elephant guide plus leave up like vines or something. All right, we're kind of in trouble. We need to draw something. Removal spell does it though. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we need to chain edict this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play bridge. I think actually just no attacks. I don't wanna take any damage. They're just leaving up regenerate, that's what it is. So I need them to not play a creature now. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, Rancor there is actually fine. As long as I don't die here. They're, they might have double gut shot in hand. No creature. Don't do it. Okay, they're untapping, sure. Lightning bolt this. They have vines, damn. Now I need to top deck another one mana removal spell. I think I lose. Ah, uh, feels bad. Feels bad. I think I didn't play this matchup that well either. Feels pretty bad. GG's. Oh man. Like, just having so many removal spells seems like there's so many ways to just crush them. And it just didn't work out. But that'll happen. It's okay. We'll get them next time. I at least try to go positive here. Let's finish up this league. See you in round five. Actually, let's go to the sideboard before we before we do that. Let's go to the deck. Work on the sideboard here. So we got the shenanigans. I don't know if we want a braid. I don't know if we need a fourth cast down in the sideboard. I do like being able to go up to triple cannonade. I mean, this already looks a little bit better. 
Three might only need two duress as well. Maybe three duress is too many. Also, I think we might want a Nihil Spell Bomb or two. I like having a bunch of Changer's Edicts. Seems strong. I think this is good. You're asking why not Galvanic Relay or Galvanic Blast? Because we only have 10 artifacts in the deck, so you'd have to have three out of you'd have to have three out of the ten. And I feel like cast down is just better because it kills Gurmag Angler. Um, I actually originally again built the deck with Galvanic Blasts, and I was like, okay, I can just play these as blue sources. I don't need to play any black cards. Um, but then I was like, wait a second, the black splash is kind of free. I think cast down is better than Galvanic Blast. You don't really need to go face. That was the reasoning. Um, but I'm not sure. This is probably what I would try moving forward. I don't know if we need this upgrade, actually. Should we have the fourth Hydro? Or the second Nihil Spellbomb? Not sure. I think I could have played better in the last two matches, especially... I mean, I think we got kind of unlucky against Stompy there, honestly. Simul again, unfortunately. Really close. One more land. The hand looks good, but we didn't have it. All right, let's keep this. I think we can just get rid of this cast down. I think keeping spells we can cast is, is strong. I'm just actually going to bridge on one pass. We're against Lobo Fernandez. Dark Steel Citadel probably means affinity. Yep. We don't really have Artifact Hate, but we have uh, Hydro Blasts for the Artog. Um, actually, I'm just going to leave up Counterspell, and if they like play a Prism or a Nicker Wellspring on two, which they're likely to do, I'm just going to counter that. Seems good. Prism is actually a pretty important card for that deck. I like I like countering it. So I can just play pieces of the puzzle right now. I think it's good use of our mana. Do it. I think I'm going to take Brainstorm Counterspell. Putting the Frantic Inventory in the yard seems good to me. Bolt's not that good against Affinity because it doesn't kill a lot of their stuff. So I definitely like binning the Bolt there. I think this deck is actually pretty sweet. Like, I feel like it, it has potential. Ooh, they play nothing like that. Um... I guess I can wait on the Brainstorm Shuffle. Let's just go Preordain, Tap Land, Leave Up, Counterspell. Bottom. Top. Can also start cleansing Wildfiring them. They might not have any basics. I can do that next turn. I'd rather leave up Counterspell, but I think I am going to start just cleansing Wildfiring their lands. Seems good. We'll see what they do. We could just ignore that and start ramping. Oh, wow. If this is their line and they don't have a land, I'm definitely killing Seed of the Cyanide with Wildfire. Nice. You love to see it, huh? Let's just go Cleansing Wildfire this. No basic? Do they have it? They do. All right, let's just brainstorm right now. Wow. Now that, that is brutal. Um, I think I'll put back both of these bridges. 
Maybe I keep the bridges, put back the basics so I have more basics in my deck. Because I am going to shuffle right now. And then I can just go get a swamp, shuffle my deck, play a tap land. Not looking good. When that's when uh, when brainstorm shuffle isn't the best is when you have all lands. Duress us. That would be so funny. Okay, disciple. They are on less artifacts now though, but we have absolutely nothing going on. We need to drop pieces of the puzzle and or frantic inventory and or cantrips. All the above. Cannonade if they play another disciple would be pretty sweet. So we're just bringing in probably Quad Hydroblast, maybe Cast Downs and Chainer's Edicts taking out the Lightning Bolts. Maybe a second Cannonade, maybe not. Okay. Let's play Curve, pretend like we have a Counterspell. We have a 9-9. Nine -nine. They're stuck on mana. They only have two artifacts in play. So we could still win, especially if we have another good draw or two. That Brainstorm shuffle was brutal. And I don't like my post-board matchup as much because my sideboard's pretty bad. A Tog. Not what I wanted to see either. Tog kills us pretty quickly. Counterspell. Where was that last turn? So each one of these artifacts is essentially representing four damage. So that's 12, 13, 14, 15 damage already. I don't think I can attack. As annoying as that is. I have to stay back to block a Tog. The good news is we have this counterspell. We can buy time, find some of some more of our card advantage. In matches one and two, our deck was like functioning so smoothly. Now it's been a little bit more clunky. I'm just countering this. Hey Costa, thanks thanks for showing up and saying that. Appreciate it. Galvanic Blast us right now. Wow. Do they have like the win or something? Why would they Galvanic Blast us right now? What? Just because they think like there's no other use for Galvanic Blast? I'm not sure. I can thin or I can keep this in case I draw a Ponder or a Brainstorm. I'm just going to thin. Could have gotten Mountain there as well, I guess. Just a little bit of Flood here. A little bit of Ultra Flood, actually. <laughs> Again, pieces of the puzzle, frantic inventory, cantrip. Those are, our, those are the good draws. Cleansing Wildfires, not bad as well. Stone Rain them. Draw a card. Okay, Deadly Dispute Away a Land. They're stone raining themselves, sort of, draining us. Can't counter this, unfortunately. Could have let the Mirror Enforcer resolve, but I don't know. I think I had to counter it with just nothing going on. I don't want them to like build up a board presence and be able to like attack with everything, deal a bunch of damage, and then sack stuff. Yeah, I mean, we're in trouble here. We have a lot of good draws, though. Our bad draws are like Lightning Bolt and um, Land. Cantrips, pieces of the puzzle, frantic inventory. I'm not asking for that much. <laughs> okay. Whoever said 2-3 guaranteed in the chat, I think screwed us. <laughs> I 
No, I'm just kidding, obviously. This deck is sweet. We're just, um, I think, on the bad side of variants. I think I've actually been on the bad side of variants, kind of. Um, I think we're dead on board now. One, two, three, four. They can just sack everything, attack with all. We have nothing. Which is what looks like what they're doing. We're at five. They can literally just attack with everything right now. Block here, I take five. It would be bad if I had two removal spells in hand, but yeah, they can just drain us out, actually. I'm just going to concede. That felt pretty bad, especially when we had the Brainstorm Shuffle and then just continued to draw lands nonstop. So I think maybe a second candidate, maybe not. Um, I'll try to keep the Dispel in. Maybe just one Cannonade. I don't want too many because I just don't want to be like blooded on that effect. Can cut like two cantrips even. I wonder if I cut a counter spell because I want like all the card advantage kind of. I feel like the Chainer's Edicts and removal spells are good. The cast downs and Chainer's Edicts feel like where I want to be. Four Hydra Blast. Maybe I only need two Chainer's Edicts with four Hydras to, to deal with the Atogs. Also Pyroblast gets a little bit better against them too these days. A lot of times they have, you know, Thought Casts, uh, Serpents, and maybe even like a Hydro Blast or two. I can cut a curve, but I don't really like that. Curve seems pretty good to resolve against them. Why don't I try this? Not sure about this one either. I think four hydro is good though because a tog is so so important. All right, let's fight back here. We got this. This hand's not great. Two curves in the openings a lot, but I think it's definitely a keepable hand. See how good this pyroblast is. Maybe we'll nab like a thought cast or something. F6 here. Deck felt so good in the first two games and yeah, getting a little bit flooded in these games. Maybe we want more brainstorms and maybe we don't want those ponders. I could I could change I could change that. Plan on just playing an inventory end of turn here. Pretend like we also have counterspell. Witching well. I don't want to just pyroblast this. So I'm going to. There's not that many targets for pyroblast. And this actually is eventually a draw two. Plus they might just get to set up their draws. They get more artifacts down. I think it's just worth it. I'm just gonna... Hmm. I could brainstorm. I, I am gonna brainstorm right now because if we hit lands we can pieces. All right, I don't know if we're going to want Cannonade. I can also just not even pieces this turn and just pass with, like, Counterspell up and Frantic Inventory up. I think I like doing that. So it doesn't really matter what I put back because I'm not going to play anything. Whoops. Okay. Just pass with Inventory slash Counterspell up here. Should have obviously had the candidate in hand right now in case we want to play at end of turn, but most likely I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to counter this. We're drawing cannonade. I think Calplus does right now. Three cards in hand for them. I can just pieces of the puzzle. I won't hit a land. It's probably worth it. Just get to resolve it. Let's take pieces plus counterspell. Okay, looks good. We're vulnerable this turn. 
but is what it is. Not much we can do about it. If they play like Disciple plus a Tog, we have a nice Cannonade here. They'd have to sack an artifact and their Disciple goes down. Still don't really want to see a Tog here. Would love to see a second Disciple. Looks like a Tog. Thought it was. Oh, it's Deadly Dispute. Okay. Still pretty good. Good card advantage. We need to just start drawing some lands now. Maybe a Gorilla Shaman in the sideboard for this matchup. Wow. They're just going for the Gal Blasts. Aggressive. Hmm. I just need to pass here with Counterspell up. If they play nothing, I can inventory, and otherwise I need to uh, a cannonade or something. Okay, well, I have to counter this. Costa, you said, I think we consider the second pyro for an edict for game three. Yeah, um, the pyros are decent. We could consider a second one, absolutely. Down to 10, they have one card in hand. We're just really choked on mana here. We have no black source. There's a Hydro Blast. Let's try to draw a land. Brutal. Yep. These draws have just not been working out. I would, would love to consider a game three here, but it looks like we're going to die. Yep. I've been doing pretty poorly in the last couple of weeks. I know I've been playing some Broods, but I think I've been on the bad side of variants as well. I don't think this deck is bad, and I think, you know, this deck could easily 4-1 or 5-0, but just not getting there here, and that's okay. Pretty brutal um, last three matches there from 2-0 to 2-3. That sucks. I think the deck is good. Maybe we don't want this a braid and we want like something more impactful like a Gorilla Shaman. No, we don't want Gorilla Shaman because we can't find that. I just don't know if we need two artifact hate spells. Um, maybe just bring the Duress back. Duress does seem good in uh, you know a fair amount of matchups. Maybe, maybe run it like this moving forward. I like it. I like it. Um, so thanks for everyone who's watching the YouTube video. That'll wrap up this video for YouTube. On the stream, we're going to play another league. Um, so again, follow on both platforms, youtube.com slash snapbolt, twitch.tv slash snapboltgames. I really appreciate just a follow on both uh, accounts or whichever one you watch on. Um, so thank you so much for supporting me that way. And uh, YouTube, till next time. Peace.